Welcome home, everyone, for the Zombies Armory. We travel back to the future with the Fatherlands HK-21. Based on the G3 battle rifle, the HK-21 was a general-purpose machine gun developed by Heckler and Koch during 1961. The HK-21 and its eight separate variants are in use by several armed forces, mainly by Asian, African and South American countries. Chambering the 7.62 by 51mm NATO round, it utilizes a detachable box magazine. The HK-21 does not show itself as popular or even well suited for the modern world. The Germans excel at less brutish weapons. Available from the mystery box in every map in Black Ops, and aside from the Wunder weapons, the HK is one of the most sought after and effective weapons. And rightly so. Its damage capability is very high, as well as one of the largest magazines of 125 rounds. Along with 500 spare rounds, it is a true beast, much like the MG42 and Browning before it. Reload is slower than most, as well as fire rate and movement speed when the HK is equipped. While not all particularly ideal, every element of the HK-21 works well together. A large magazine and low fire rate defeats the slow reload time, and a high damage defeats the low rate of fire. The only anomaly being your slow speed when moving, but you should not be running in circles with it anyway. Besides, speed caller, double tap, and stamina up negate all these shortcomings. With the 5000 point pack a punch upgrade, the HK21 transforms into the H115 oscillator. It comes with no new attachments, unfortunately. However, the magazine size and total munitions increases to a hefty 150 rounds per magazine and 900 rounds in total. Damage is significantly increased, however it does not surpass the upgraded Galil, not something that you would expect. Reload time and fire rate remain unchanged. And overall, the upgrade is unremarkable, and is primarily a matter of munition extension. It still remains popular amongst you, however after seeing these statistics, I am unimpressed. This concludes our session. Good luck.